The man who's accused of shooting Phoenix police officer Tyler Moldovan is not the only one facing prison time. Right now, three people have pleaded guilty to illegally giving guns to the suspect. Colleen Sakura is joining us live tonight, and she spoke with the U.S. attorney for Arizona this afternoon, whose office prosecuted the case. Colleen? Yeah, U.S. Attorney Gary Restaino says that this case shows a common way that people who should not have guns get them. Previous convictions meant Essa Williams wasn't supposed to have a gun, now accused of shooting Phoenix police officer Tyler Moldvon several times. I think we see a greater proliferation of um, felons possessing firearms now at a state and federal level. Um, there's lots of guns on the streets. U.S. Attorney for the District of Arizona, Gary Restaino, has been a prosecutor here for 20 years. It's one that we see um, as common, that someone lies to a federally licensed firearms dealer or um, otherwise, in an improper manner, gets a firearm to a felon. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Williams' mom, Erica LeRae Williams, bought a gun for him from a licensed gun dealer. Williams also got a pistol from Dwayne Keith Anderson, who is a licensed gun dealer. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Anderson helped Williams get around a background check so Williams could buy a pistol for himself. Williams' girlfriend, Alice Berdichia, also gave him another gun in court paperwork. A text message from Berdichia saying she'll get a gun in her name, saying if some happens and it gets traced under me, so be it. But how to track guns in the hands of people who shouldn't have them? A lot of it is simply intel work, um, trying to get a sense and reacting after the fact um, to ensure that firearms stay out of the wrong hands. It's deterrence, in other words, is a big piece. Education is another big piece. Do you think that the charges are enough to deter people? Well, I think people are going to see that a former federally licensed firearms dealer is no longer a federally licensed firearms dealer and is going to be a felony, uh, have, be a felon. That's going to send a message, certainly to that person, for specific deterrence, and we think it'll have general deterrence as well. Saying that's part of what can be done now to address guns in the wrong hands. Some of these are legislative solutions, policy solutions. What we can do from a federal perspective um, and working with our state and local partners is try to make sure that Arizona is safer by this combination of deterrence and intervention. And we'll note that none of these guns in the U.S. Attorney's case are the ones believed to be used by Williams to shoot Officer Moldovan. A fourth gun was recovered at the scene. Now tonight, Williams is still in county jail as his case has yet to go to trial. We're live in Phoenix. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.